Hey, what's happening guys? How are you doing? This is Rob of Rule of Two Review. Welcome back to the channel. And today, Smash Brothers leaks, they're happening. And so of course, let's discuss them. So this was a big story this morning. Apparently some Super Smash Brothers leaks about some unrevealed characters started making the rounds on the internet today. And in a weird twist of fate, in the little bit of research I was able to do while working today before making it home, it seems like these leaks originated from like a random Snapchat post, which is very, very strange. Courtesy of Game Rant, that was actually the site I found that actually had some of these photos I'm going to reference. You can see this one here, which apparently is this Snapchat source or photo. And looking at this, I think a couple of things. One of the things I think of is, God, I just hate Snapchat. <laughs> just looking at this. It's just weird. It's one of the few social media sites that, you know, no offense to anyone who's a fan of it. I don't get it. It hasn't really clicked or jived with me. I think it's weird. And and so looking at this, I'm just like, ah, Snapchat. It's just a weird thing. So anyway, like I said, no offense if you're a Snapchat fan. Many of my friends are. The other many things that I think of looking at this is what does this even really mean? What does this prove? What does this show us? How is this a leak? It's like impossible to figure out what the Smash Brothers pictures are. Why would this person have posted these photos? What do they know about Smash that other people don't? Very, very strange. And so apparently that was removed and then eventually showed back up on Reset Era. That's ultimately the place that started to, as per the little bit of uh, research that I was able to conduct, like I said, that's where it seems like most of this information ended up coming from. It started with the Snapchat post. I guess that, that got deleted. And then Reset Era picked it up, had some of these photos, and then everyone was talking about these supposed leaks of Smash Brothers and of upcoming Smash Brothers characters. And of course, this kind of falls curiously right in line with the uh, rumor of the last couple of days about a Nintendo Direct or maybe even two Nintendo Directs happening next month. Some of those stories talked about one of those directs maybe being a Smash Brothers Direct, which I've gone back and forth on. I don't know that I want to believe that, but it certainly, I guess, is possible. And like I said, people have been discussing it. Here come these leaks of new characters. And if there's any truth to this, which I don't really know that we should believe it, which I'm going to get into, but if there was pr uh, a truth to these leaks, well, maybe that kind of makes sense, lining right up with a possible Smash Direct next month. So anywho, I'm going off the rails a little bit here. Let me, let me focus it back into these specific leaks and these characters that apparently are part of this whole story. Of course, spoilers, you know, in case you don't want to know any potential leaks, whether or not these are true or not, it is potential leaks, potential spoilers. I'm sure if you've even watched this far into the video, you've already decided that you don't care, or you probably already know them. So... These apparently are the seven characters that this leak say says might be revealed for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate soon. They are Shadow the Hedgehog, Banjo-Kazooie, Isaac from Golden Sun, Ken from Street Fighter, Mock Rider, uh, Gino from um, Super Mario RPG, and Chorus Kids from Rhythm Heaven. So yeah, that's the list of characters. There is, um, I don't know. There's a lot to talk about. Now again, courtesy of the Game Rant article that I found, there's another really interesting and eye-opening photo that kind of reveals some of what's going on here because part of where I guess the internet or the Snapchat post or Reset Era or whoever, part of where everyone's gotten this idea for these seven specific characters comes from that full huge layout of all of the different whatever 75 some odd characters we have in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate so far. We've all seen the art, it was first revealed at E3, and every time they've given us new characters, they keep plopping new characters into that art. And it's great, it's beautiful, it's very exciting. We've been pouring over that art, trying to figure out where's a spot where the next character might actually show up. And so this photo right here, again found on Game Rant, they apparently have put together sort of this, they, they've grabbed the photo from the Snapchat thing and superimposed where they think the characters are being revealed from the incredibly tiny and blurry, of course it's tiny and blurry, from the incredibly tiny and blurry photo from the Snapchat thing. And this is where some of this starts to fall apart for me, you guys. You may believe this, maybe you've seen someone else who has more knowledge on this than I do right now and they've further confirmed this, but based on these photos and what I was able to find, this is the best evidence and this doesn't really work for me for the most part. And so you look at this blurry version and you know, it's convenient that they did this, but there's all these, you know, circled outlines where they feel like they can spot the new characters being added and apparently have been able to tell what these new characters are. 
And now here's what I'm going to say, you guys. Before I start talking about the characters, when we focus just on this picture, my honest opinion, you know, as, as just a gamer and a Nintendo fan and a Smash Brothers fan, out of everything showed on this picture, the only one that looks legit to me, or at least believable, is Shadow the Hedgehog. That one, when you look at that blurry picture and what they've outlined, yeah, man, that definitely looks like Shadow. In fact, it's almost impossible for it to be anyone but Shadow the Hedgehog. And Shadow the Hedgehog is a character I could even believe showing up in Smash Brothers. So there's a lot to go on there. That stuff I like. But I'm sorry, everything else shown here? I don't know, man. Where they apparently see chorus kids and mock Ryder or Ken? I look at this stuff, and to me, it looks like a bunch of nothing. It looks like a bunch of blurry, garbled, nonsense gobbledygook. I'm not saying it's 100% false because I'm not in the know to say if it's false or not, but when I look just at this blurry picture, I don't see anything. I mean, tell me if you guys see something that I don't see, but it just looks like they just put random circles over whatever. I mean, I don't know where some of these characters even come from in this drawing. So, like I said, looking at the blurry photo, Shadow is the only one that looks believable to me. So now let's talk about some of the individual characters for a moment and my overall kind of opinions on this. And like I've kind of already alluded to here, you guys, you know that I'm not a pessimist. You know that I'm not a naysayer. I'm always the optimist. I'm a fan of most things. I'm not usually a downer. And especially with rumors, I love talking about rumors or leaks or what have you like they could be true. This is one of those few instances and watch this come back to bite me in the butt. I'm sure it's going to bite me in the butt, but I'm going to stand by my guns right now. This is one of those few instances where this doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't feel true. Looking at the list of characters and looking at that blurry photo that I just discussed with you guys a second ago, a second ago, most of these characters and everything a part of this leak doesn't ring true to me. It doesn't feel right. And these characters, a lot of them don't make that much sense. So what do we have? We have Shadow the Hedgehog, like I already discussed. To me, Shadow makes sense. I feel like further Sonic the Hedgehog universe representation is always possible. I think it's a smart move. It's something I could believe could happen. The fact that it's already based on a game series and a franchise that's already represented between a character, a stage, and I'm pretty sure some assist trophies, yeah, sh throw more characters in from that franchise. That's always going to be believable to me. Not even mentioning the fact that it's the only thing that looks legit on that poster. So you've got Shadow the Hedgehog. Banjo-Kazooie, this is a huge one. The implications behind this, we all know, are massive. There's even been rumors and rumblings in Phil Spencer of Microsoft to sort of tease the idea of how much he likes the idea of it happening before. There's a lot going on here. So do I believe that this is confirming Banjo-Kazooie is going to be in Smash Brothers? No, I don't. Do I think Banjo may eventually show up in Smash, whether it's at launch or if it's DLC down the road? I kind of think that, yeah, there's a pretty good shot. So I'm putting this one in like the 50-50 camp. It's not so much that I believe it from this leak, but I think it's something that Nintendo and Microsoft would love to shock the world with. You never thought we could team up to make something this amazing happen? Well, you're fools. Bam, there you go. Banjo-Kazooie in Smash Brothers. Everyone rejoice. I mean, I could feasibly see that happening sometime in the future. And hey, maybe even at launch of Smash Ultimate. So like I said, this is a 50-50 character. Isaac from Golden Sun is another interesting one to me because I want to say I could believe this could happen in a Smash Brothers game. Uh, I was a huge fan of the original Golden Sun. I only played part of the second one. I don't remember why I stopped playing it. I think I had to move at the time. I was living in my second apartment, a townhouse, when those two games came out. And I, I powered through the first one. I loved it on my Game Boy Advance, and I just didn't get to finish part two. Great series. Isaac was a great character from that first game. And so I guess I could believe that he makes sense in Smash Brothers as well. He's, you know, currently he's an, a Nintendo exclusive character. I think even Camelot is a second party or a Nintendo owned company developer. I think that they can only make games for Nintendo, but I may be wrong. You guys can correct me if I'm, if I'm right or wrong on that one. But regardless, Golden Sun has been very much exclusively a Nintendo property. And a lot of people want to see Golden Sun 3 happen. I would happily welcome Golden Sun 3. And so putting Isaac in, yeah, I guess that makes sense. He doesn't jump out as the most ideal choice because when's the last time Golden Sun was relevant to a large gaming public? It's been a long time. I know a lot of fans and, and even friends of mine are big fans of that series and, and it's not a slight against the series. It's just a fact. I mean, those games haven't been relevant in a long time. There's only two of them. Unless I'm missing something, I think there's only the two. 
So that's that. Ken from Street Fighter, to me, is the last one that makes sense. And in fact, it makes a lot of sense for all of the same reasons Shadow makes sense. Heck, Ken even was rumored a couple of months ago, or maybe about a month ago, some screenshots showed up that seemed to show Ken in a stage in Super Smash Brothers. And while I think that photo looked kind of photoshopped, um, I still think that Ken makes a lot of sense. In fact, they would be stupid not to throw another Street Fighter character in. Ken is my favorite character, but I would actually like to see somebody that isn't a clone of Ryu. So I would like to see somebody like Chun-Li or Blanca or Dalsim, something like that. I think actually Balrog could be awesome or M. Bison. Oh my God. I mean, they would all, they'd all be so cool. Oh man, give me a break. <laughs> Any Street Fighter character would be neat. Um, but you're kind of towing a, a dangerous line of putting too many in there. And also, of course, Ken is believable because we all know what they would do. They would just make him an Echo Fighter of Ryu, which would be a little bit of a cheat. I guess it would be better than nothing, but it's honestly another reason why it would be easy for us to believe Ken would be in this game, because it would be easy for them to do it. Just make him a darned Echo Fighter. Now, the last couple, the last ones give me some issues, you guys. I'm not going to lie. Gino from Mario RPG. Okay, I'm, I'm not I'm not familiar with RP, uh, Mario RPG, you guys. I've never played it, even though I grew up in that era of gaming. It's just one that passed me by. Uh, one of my best buddies back home in Denver loves the game. He's introduced me to the great music in the game. I've seen some videos and gameplay. I know that it's a classic, and I know that people love Geno. So I guess I could see that character coming as well. It seems like a little bit of a stretch, but that one, I don't know. I'm going to go 3070 on that character. The other ones, though, Mock Rider and Chorus Kids. Hey, man, anything is possible, and I am always the first to admit Nintendo is hard to predict, so I would be stupid to put my money on this not being possible, but let's be real. Those are weird choices. I don't think they're smart choices, and I don't think that they would get anybody excited. I mean, Mock Rider? I had to research who and what Mock Rider was. And unless I found the wrong game in the wrong franchise, when I Googled it and did my research on Wikipedia for everything Mock Rider video game related, it's like a 1985 NES motorcycle racing game. And here's the thing. I mean, I am 38 years old, okay? I was born in 1980. I was gaming on an Atari as a little boy before the NES launched. So I grew up with Nintendo. I grew up when the NES was brand new. I wasn't born after the NES came out. I was born and gaming before the darn system launched. And I have followed Nintendo and all their games and everything that makes up NES, Super NES, GameCube 64, all that stuff. My whole life has been Nintendo filled. And I have never in 38 years of life heard of Mock Rider, at least not in a long time. Maybe when I was 10, I knew what it was. But it's, it's like, the only reason I bring that up is if somebody like me, a lifelong Nintendo fan who existed before Nintendo was making video games, doesn't know Mock Rider, I feel like an incredibly tiny, itty-bitty, minuscule, microscopic percentage of fans and gamers and people know Mock Rider. And so, why would Nintendo include Mock Rider, this, this motorcycle character who apparently had one game in a Smash Brothers game? Again! Nothing's impossible, man, but I just don't understand that decision. It's probably an assist trophy. If there's anything to this, I could totally see it being an assist trophy um, or, or a collectible. That's where Mock Rider makes sense to me based on my research of what Mock Rider even is. A playable character? I mean, I don't know. It's just that to me starts to really devalue this whole list and this whole league in my opinion. And then we get to Chorus Kids from Rhythm Heaven. And it's like... I don't know. I guess I don't really have anything to say on that. It's just, I know Rhythm Heaven's he, Rhythm Heaven is good. Um, I messed with that first game, and it was definitely cool. And I'm a music fan. I'm, I'm a musician myself, so I appreciate music games. Um, but do Chorus Kids make sense as fighters in a Smash Brothers game? Is there enough to that franchise and the popularity? to be included in a Smash Brothers game? I wouldn't think so. Why not Phoenix Rider Professor Layton? Those are characters that make a little bit more sense to me than the Chorus Kids. And so for me, not so much Geno, I guess. Mostly Mock Rider and the Chorus Kids, based on the franchises they come from and the weirdness of those characters, how they would not work as fighters, in my opinion, and how few people even understand them, I just don't think that those make sense. And like I say, they pretty much start to devalue this whole list. So at the end of the day, what did we learn here? 
pretty much probably nothing. <laughs> I don't really think we learned much of anything because all I can tell you is I don't necessarily believe this leak or this list, and I don't think you should either. However, there's like three, two or three characters on this list I also think have a good shot at showing up in the game. So it's very much you got you got two corners of the internet to approach this from. It's real and we should believe it. It's fake and you shouldn't believe it. And I'm just like kind of in the middle. I'm like 40% of this list I believe, the other 60% I don't. And uh, I think leaks are just not always worthwhile and reliable nowadays. Clearly some of them are. Some of the ones I've talked about in the past, even ones that haven't been proven true yet, like the Star Fox racing game, some of those I think definitely have some validity to them. Heck, I even think that there's something to the whole conversation about Nintendo working on new hardware or new Switch hardware right now. Of course, as I've discussed, I don't necessarily believe it's next year's hardware. It might be something for down the road, but I think there might even be some truth to that. So sometimes that stuff is fine. This is, you guys know, I'm, I'm an optimist. I love being an optimist. It's who I am in real life, but I don't, I don't feel this leak and I don't feel this rumor personally. I'm ready for it to bite me in the butt, though, like I said, and you guys are going to be able to yell at me if I'm wrong, and maybe all seven of these characters get confirmed in two weeks, and I'm going to look like a fool with egg on my face, and that'll be fine. Honestly, I won't even be mad. I want four or five of these characters anyway. Shadow, Banjo, Isaac, and Ken? Yeah, bring those on. I want those characters in the game, so I'm not going to be sad if it's correct. Just feels a little bit strange to me, and, you know, maybe we have a long way to go to see Microsoft to see... Microsoft and Nintendo work together to put Banjo-Kazooie in the game. Maybe it's going to happen in two weeks. Maybe that's something for five or six years down the road. Who even knows, man? So, I don't know. Those are my crazy wicked thoughts on uh, this Smash Brothers leak. So, of course, do you guys believe this? Do you not believe this? Do you think that maybe these characters are real, but the leak is fake? Because that's kind of my angle. I think... I think a couple of these characters might be real. I just think this leak is fake. I could make a leak of 10 Smash Brothers characters tomorrow and put it on the internet and call it a leak and get half of them right just because it could be easy to predict and guess characters. Like, where's Travis Touchdown? I know Travis Touchdown is going to be in Smash Brothers. I'm 99% sure all logic tells us it's going to happen. Why wasn't he included here? So I could make a list tomorrow with Travis on there just because I feel like it makes sense. And then it would get right, and I could, I, it could be proven right, and I could just lie to you all and tell you I had the leak. I had the inside info. And it's just someone on the internet lying about it. So, anyway, I'm rambling. Apparently, I'm more passionate about this than I realized. Um, but it's interesting. So, like I said, please discuss. Do you believe? Do you not believe? What do you think? And that is it for me today. Thanks, of course, as always, for tuning in, guys. This is Rob of Rule 2 Review, and I'll catch you next time on another video.